success is a common word. It's a word we hear all of the times. He is successful. You are not successful. You have made it. You have not made it. When you hear the word success, what readily comes to your mind? Wealth, loads of cash to throw about, houses, owning a house, or living you know, in a, a tush apartment, buying the current shoes on sale in the market, or riding the best of cars, having a fleet of it in your garage. Is that what you understand success to mean? What is success to you? Success means different things to different people. So before you begin to judge someone that you are, that he is not successful, make sure that you are on the same page with the person. Make sure that the parameter the person uses to judge himself is what you are using. If you understand that success means different things to different people, then you will not abuse your word or your child with comparison with one or two of your neighbor's child. You cannot say to your son, go and make money. This person has made money more than you. Success is not at all about money. It is a part of it. That is my own understanding. There are many parameters to measure success. You're welcome to our Team TV One. I am Azukego Idis, and today I we want to look at the word success. I was talking with someone recently, and the person said, "The society measure um, a successful person with the level of wealth that they have acquired. So, how do you measure success?" He now began to tell me that success is when he is satisfied with any level of growth in his life at a particular point. And we want to hear your own. What is success to you? How do you measure success? How do you recognize someone who is successful? If you look at one of the management principles or theories that were propounded by Maslow, it says that there are a hierarchy of needs. What you may be thinking that is success to another person, it may not be. The person may have passed that particular level and is going farther than where you are. Or maybe the person may want to pass the lower part, um, um, quadrant, which is um, basic needs, and maybe wanting actualization. And you think the person is not successful. In your own eyes, everyone is successful. As long as you are not on the same range where you were yesterday. There is supposed to be an upward movement, a movement all of the times in our lives. So as long to me, as long as you are not on the same level, you are successful. To our parents, when you understand that there are different levels of success, that it means different things to different people, you will stop pushing your child so hard. You will stop comparing your child with that of your neighbor's child. Each and every one of them have a path that they are towing. So long as it is on the right path, so long as they are satisfied with where they are, please understand with them. Stop pushing them. It is the pushing that, are, that has actually made them to be in wrong relationship with people and is causing issues in our environment, in our society. Because they will begin to see themselves as failure and they want to do much more than the person so that their parents will be proud of them, so that the society will be proud of them. By doing so, they go into ritual killings and every other vices that society abhors. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please, I plead with you, subscribe to our team. TV one. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes.